Why does it seem like every time I come to Ohio, you know, something's trying to keep me like from going back down to Florida, and I'm coming back to Ohio, it's like something's trying to keep me from going to Ohio. <laughs> These hurricanes now are stirring up, so I don't know if I'll be able to get to the airport to get me out of the country. So that's the big thing right now. I'm, I'm, I'm um. I talked yesterday about, like, okay, today's the 25th, right? Yeah. Oh. I apologize. <laughs> uh. Wait, maybe it was today. I don't know. Yeah, well, you know, just... Why, why would you want to be in America? That's my thing right now. I think about this. It's like, uh, really, really? Why? Wow. WTF? I mean, we've got the highest, sickest, highest rate of um, sickness, divorce rate, highest, highest income tax. Income. That's different than states. There's, there's ways that they work, and they don't. You know, they don't have to pay those kind of surcharges to. I mean, you're penalized in this country. I mean, look at me. I've got the best record ever. RP888101. The police look at me and they're like, oh, wow. Model citizen. Perfect. This is what we need. This puts, this, this puts us, me, out of out of work. <laughs> Prosecutor, like, oh, man, I don't want this guy in my city. He's got the best attitude for perfection of happiness and peace ever. This guy ain't going to cause any trouble. <laughs> Fuck you, prosecutors. Fuck you. You police, too. It's a police state here in America. So we have the highest infant mortality rate in the developed world. It, the illiteracy rate is very high, but it's not, like, the worst. So i got to be honest about that. And trust me, it's got nothing to do with, you know, schooling and all that stuff. I love this, these trees back here. Especially this one right here. Badass. But you just look at the statistics, people. I mean, I, I can talk about how I've gotten involved with these travel organizations, even though I'm not a traveler. And it's really changed my life to know the truth about America. Stand up next to you and defend her still today, because there ain't no doubt. God bless this land. No, okay, no doubt. I love this land. God bless the USA. The sickest people in the world. You see it now with the COVID stuff. We've got all the technology for the best health care. I don't have any health care, and I'm, I'm healthy. You're not going to see anybody healthier than me ever. Rich. I've got to be toy you can imagine. <laughs> I'm not even driving those toys. No, I, and I even... I mean, my toys are, I like to play with babies, throw them up in the air and catch them, it's dangerous, um, tackle them, go run around in the yard and stuff, toys. This is really not a civilized country. The people are just, oh my God. So today's like that Tuesday and tomorrow's that Wednesday thing. And then that's the 26th. So yeah, I'm going to be, it's, it's temperature getting cold. That's the one thing I really get. So I guess my video here is one of the areas where my life has changed so much from college. I'm going back, you know, 17 years now, okay? I looked for that 2000. When I was going to graduate college. So where am I going to go? I, I was considering going to work for Gillette in Boston. I didn't even think of, oh, it's going to be cold in Boston. And then another one was in Cincinnati because Procter & Gamble had offered. See, Gillette offered me 16 something an hour. I was just a, you know, base in the marketing department. And of course, Procter & Gamble offered me, I don't know, what was it like? Um, it was also marketing. I, I didn't end up doing it of those days in Cleveland. And of course, but now I'm at a point in my life whereby I'm just interested, and I've been this way for the last 10 years. I just go where the, where the weather is. 
and not only am I going by what it is, you got, you know, income issues and assets, you know, and real estate that's an issue because you've got ridiculous taxes on that in America. You're not really getting anything for it. You got a fucking police state, which is like, I don't even know what to compare it to. It's a cute cat. It's so cute. Little Siamese cat. I don't know. Well, he's jumping after like uh, bees, actually. There's a beehive like literally in the ground. And this cat just. I'm not into the whole. What's the name? People ask the names. Oh, look, look, look. Going after him. It's no idea he could be getting nailed right now. There's a bees, a big, big wasp, like not wasp, but what's, what do you call those? Um, it's not the honey bees. It's um, yellow jackets, I think. So, I can't emphasize enough how 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 despicable this country is. Now that I really get to know people from different countries. You know, I mean, I'm 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 not wearing a shirt right now. It's considered kind of like slutty, I guess. And here I am. Okay, I'm, I'm dirty. I'm gross because I eat kale and. I eat dirt. I got accused of, you know, trying to kill people on on YouTube because I would put up a video of me eating dirt one time about a year and a, about two years ago, two and a half years ago. Yeah, I don't know something like that. Um, my investments are yeah they are they're very volatile companies. Plug Power obviously that's the biggest position. Many others are obviously, but the things that I do you know I mean I eat. Raw cabbage one time. People are like, you don't cook this, do you? Raw potatoes. People get scared about that kind of stuff. But this is what this is what healthy is. I write books. I don't fight. That's a big one. I don't get sick. That's oh, that's a big problem. So anyway, I do these things that, that they're considered disgusting and dirty. Yet I'm the healthiest man ever. It's a beautiful day. It's gonna rain but now it's nice. Well, I'll just show you out here. It, it's totally clear. You know what? I'm gonna go for a little walk because I'm not gonna be here much longer. Enjoy the river and lake. You can see my pictures, you know, up on Facebook. I, I love it up in Ohio, you know I do. I love in America, you know, that God bless, I love this land. I do, I've traveled the country, I love it. The people have destroyed this country. And I've, I've allowed it, you know. I'm stepping it up now, I'm praying, praying for me, praying for me that I just really be the emperor God's called me to be in this land. Really, really step it up. Just take over. I ran for Congress, but maybe I'm, I, I, I'm learning more and more that I'm glad that I lost the election. Is that really me? It's just take over, man. Get to the basketball courts on the other side of these Arbor Vites. You just take over. I don't need to run for any office of point guard or shooting guard or small forward. Just get to hoop and just take over. Run a show. Get to the club, get to the church and take over. Signs, wonders, miracles. Demonstration of the kingdom, power, love. America is despicable. That's 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 the name of this video, I think. Yeah, that's what I'll call it. I'm out of here, though. By the way, it's just hurricane thing. It's it's just kind of like there might be issues in Florida. Used to, I, I got a bunch of tickets. We'll see how I'm gonna get out because it's called COVID testing thing. They have, there's different countries they want you to have been tested within 72 hours. How you got to get this whole like uh, what do you call that rapid testing? So I want to keep you updated if I can figure it out on the um, the airport. I was gonna say on the tarmac, not on, on the tarmac. Um, this cat's so cute. Oh, I know that. Oh, I can't stop. It. I gotta see the thing. All right, we out.